And hello once again, everyone. Welcome to CSC 151. In this video, we're going to be going over references. Okay? And this is basically very standard stuff. I've made a little note to myself to use commas as well, just to make sure that I remember. So, here's what a reference is. Now, we could essentially say 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, 21, 28 all the way up to 45. We could do that. We could just, you know, do that with, you know, a calculator. But we could also just write in an equation. So if I have an equation, I can go and say equals. And equals what? Well, if I equal and then click a cell, it says, oh, it's equal to F6. So whatever is in F6 will be in the cell. Whatever is in A6 will be equal to the cell. Now, Word of advice, you don't want to start clicking around generally when it comes to using an equation because as you see here, uh, as you see with my reference, uh, it keeps moving to wherever I click. So if I go, I want this to equal this cell, and then I try to click outside to type somewhere else, oops, it goes all the way to G6 with me. So rule of thumb, hit the enter button. Okay? You hit the enter button. Now, this one is literally a 1. This one right here is actually equal to cell A2. That would be a reference. I could make this equal to cell A1, comma, A3, comma, A4, comma, hit enter, and now I have a bizarre value because it's somehow three different numbers all at once. But you notice that these values are separated by a comma. Those commas are what uh, are needed for whenever you have multiple values inside something. So for example, if I was going to say this was equal to the sum of those three things, then that would helps when I say sum, not sun. And it went and got a1, a, sorry, a2, a3, and a4, and I needed that. The moment I get rid of those commas, it doesn't understand it's a null value. So we can do stuff like that, but I'm not going to get too much into equations yet. There's going to be formulas down here in later videos. But just in general speaking, we can do equal something, and it'll give us something else. We could do equal this plus this minus this, which would be 1 plus 2 is 3, and then minus 3 will give us 0. And we can do stuff like that. Now, much like your graphs and your spark lines and your conditional formattings, if I change something about this, I make that a 22, all of a sudden 1 plus 22 is 23, minus 3 equals 20. These equations will update us automatically. So if I were to do something like, you know, I don't know divide by that, and I get myself an 8.3333333, and, you know, I did something like, you know, that, this number would be different than simply typing 8.33. Why is it different? This is text, this is not. I extend this out, it says it's actually 8.33, and that's where I stop typing, so the rest are zeros. I extend this one out, and it's actually 8.33333333333, and then eventually it will get to zeros because the computer will just say, hey, that's far enough. But point being, a number with an equation is more accurate than simply typing, because you don't know Honestly, if the number you're looking at is actually a 1.17%, or if that's just simply rounded and it's actually 1.16782951737 whatever percent, okay? So using an equation will actually help your accuracy. See, it still will round itself to 1.17, but it's not 1.17. This if I extend this guy out, is that. This guy, if I extend it out, is that. You can, if you're off by just a little bit in the start, you know, even if you're off by a couple millimeters, by the time you reach the moon, you'll be off by a mile. So, we're going to make sure that we have standard, you know, equations, which is simply, you know, something like equal this guy times this guy plus, whoop, 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 whoop. that was not a plus, that was a B, 
plus this guy, so on and so forth. And we can even do like, you know, I don't know, divided by parentheses, this guy times this guy, which would literally be itself times one, but you know what I mean. And we can get some really funky little equations. Now, if you ever see something that looks like a bunch of uh, uh, hashtags, that just means there's not enough room to show the information. So just double click in between the columns and it'll stretch out to however long it is. And apparently I made a 1818181818. I made an infinite loop and the computer just stopped itself right there at two to say, hey, that's, you know, that's where, that's far enough. Now, a range is something where you have numerous cells. You'll notice how it says A2 colon A10. That means from A2 to A10. All I need is a start point and an end point. And it gave me literally from that cell to this cell. It's literally, literally is this row right, this column right here transposed elsewhere. I was able to make multiple things at once. This will of course also come into play if we were to do something like equal sum and we grab ourselves a range as well and it'll go and add all of those guys together. Okay? Because a sum is addition. And that would require, so that would be easier to do something like this instead of doing whoop whoop whoops. Remember, do not try to click while you're in a, in a cell. Hit enter. If enter does not work, hit escape. So doing something like this with a range is far easier than doing equals this plus this plus, I don't know, A4 plus A5 plus A6 plus A7 plus A8 whoop, 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 8 plus A9 plus A10. I mean, I'll get the same answer, but this one required a lot more coding. This one required much less coding. So, when in doubt, ranges are your best friend. And of course, if you want to, you can always mix and match those towards sort of things as well. So if I want to do equal sum, I could do this range, and then comma, only that range, and I'll get 50. And you'll notice I left out the 7 and the 8. But of course, if I wanted to add the 7 back in, I'll now get 57. So yes, you can mix and match ranges and single individual data points as much as you want. It's truly free form in that essence. You just have to know the syntax of how it codes. Everything always begins with an equal sign. If you're referencing a specific cell, you must remember to name that cell. So right there is A4. It's in column A, row 4, ergo A4. You know, that sort of thing. The rules of operation still apply. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses and exponents come before multiplication and division, and they come before addition and subtraction. You know, the same general rules of, uh, of hierarchy and mathematics apply. So, yeah, that's generally it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about the difference between uh, normal references and absolute references. So, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.